You can get rid of mold on your walls for almost nothing. I'll show you a trick that will amaze you. First, take a small jar and fill it almost to the top with baking soda. Then, add a few bay leaves, making sure they aren't completely covered by the baking soda. These leaves will enhance the moisture-absorbing properties of the baking soda. Place this jar on the windowsills in your home, especially in areas where moisture builds up and causes mold. Baking soda absorbs moisture and odors, keeping the air dry and fresh. Bay leaves have antibacterial and antifungal properties. By using this combination, you reduce moisture in your home and improve air quality. Plus, the scent from the jar helps repel insects. This quick and easy trick gives common kitchen items a whole new purpose. Not only will your space feel fresher, but you'll also be taking proactive steps against mold growth. Try it out and enjoy a cleaner, healthier home. Put a leaf in your shampoo. This trick will stop hair loss and thicken thinning hair, all thanks to natural ingredients that stimulate hair growth. Start by pouring out a portion of your shampoo to make space for the magical natural ingredients. Add a tablespoon of cloves, which helps stimulate blood flow to the scalp. These simple ingredients can work wonders for your hair's health. Your strands will become stronger, thicker, and more resilient over time. Then, add a tablespoon of dried rosemary. It improves scalp condition. It has anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties, helping to fight dandruff and irritation. Next, drop in one clove of garlic, which contains sulfur compounds that support keratin production, promoting faster hair growth. The final ingredient is a tablespoon of argan oil for deep hydration, leaving your hair soft to the touch. Use this shampoo regularly, and you'll see results quickly. The shape of your foot reveals your character. Find out what your feet say about you. Usually, this part of the body doesn't get much attention, but the shape of your feet and the alignment of your toes can actually reveal aspects of your personality. There are four main types of feet, Egyptian, Roman, Greek, and square. An Egyptian foot is one where all the toes are arranged close together, often even overlapping each other. People with Egyptian feet are described as mysterious, valuing their privacy, and often possessing an artistic soul. They tend to be dreamers and are seen as gentle individuals. The most common type is the Roman foot. In this shape, the first three toes are almost the same length, while the remaining toes are significantly shorter. Those with Roman feet are often adventurous, enjoy learning new things, exploring new places, and traveling a lot. They are often extroverted and the life of the party, though they can also be quite proud. Greek feet are less common. The second toe is the longest, which often causes those with this foot shape to be self-conscious about their appearance. People with Greek feet are very active, dynamic, and capable of spreading their enthusiasm to everyone around them. In a square foot, all the toes are almost the same length, giving the foot a rectangular shape. This type of foot suggests an analytical mind, someone who is calm, rational, and makes decisions thoughtfully. They don't act on impulse, are trustworthy, and always finish what they start, following through on their plans. Does the shape of your foot match your personality? I discovered the reason why the letter M appears on the palm. It turns out that only some people have it. Look at your hands now. Does the letter M appear on both of your hands? Or only on one? Or perhaps not at all? Let me know in the comments which group you belong to. The hand on which the letter appears matters. Chiromancy, or palm reading, was practiced in ancient Greece. According to them, there are two hands, passive and active. The active hand is the one we use when writing. If the letter appears on it, it signifies a strong character. To spot it, you should look at the lifeline which is closest to the thumb. It should connect both with the headline and then merge into the fate line. The final line forming this letter should be the visible heart line. It's a very rare symbol, indicating happiness and success. The fingerprint lines forming the letter M are found in people exceptionally blessed by fate. These are individuals who achieve success in their careers. They often choose careers influencing people, such as journalism, politics, or finance, 
They stand out with exceptional intuition and great inner strength. The letter M on the palm appeared in the hands of great prophets and leaders. The number of lines on your wrist will tell everything about your life. It's better to have more than two. Some believe that the palm lines are not random. The slightly curved lines on the inner part of the wrist are called reset lines. According to some, they indicate how long we will live. Although it sounds strange, it's a very intriguing fact. If the first wrist line is significantly thick and free of breaks, it may suggest an age between 23 and 28 years. If it's faint, it might indicate potential health issues. The second line signals an age between 46 and 56 years. It's associated with wealth, happiness, and prosperity. If it's clearly marked, it indicates financial achievements. The third wrist line signifies 69 near 84 years of life. It's associated with career and success. An influential person will have a thick and uninterrupted straight line. The fourth line denotes over 84 years of life. It's a rather rare line, as most of us have two or three. And how many lines do you have on your wrist? Only this type of women sleeps like this. We will explain what it means. The answer will surely surprise you a little. During nighttime rest, we cannot control our bodies. Often, all the emotions we hide during the day come out. Find out what sleeping with a duvet between your legs means. Only one type of woman sleeps with a duvet placed between her legs. This way of sleeping requires lying comfortably on one side. Women who choose this way of falling asleep are perceived as authoritative and despotic. They exhibit great self-confidence. Moreover, they are decisive and never give up. Usually, people around them see them as warriors and typical tough girls. Often, it turns out that beneath the tough exterior hides a sensitive and very emotional person. Such a woman often curls up alone and has a great need for cuddling. That's why she grabs the duvet that is at hand and squeezes it between her legs. It's worth mentioning that sleeping on your side with a duvet or pillow between your legs is good for your spine. In this position, the hips and knees do not twist, but remain parallel. This way, they relieve the muscles and joints, helping to eliminate pain. Place a bay leaf in an eggshell. I'm sure no one has told you about this combination before. It's worth trying out. The combination of the eggshell and bay leaf has two excellent uses. I recently learned about it myself and regret not knowing sooner. The first use is as an insect repellent, and the second is for good luck. So let's prepare our magical bowl. First, pour salt into the bowl, leaving about two centimeters from the top. Then, place the eggshell in the center of the bowl. Take the bay leaves, put one inside the eggshell and stick a few around the shell in the salt. Place the bowl somewhere at the threshold of your door. The scent released from our bowl will repel all insects. However, if any do get inside, the salt will dry out their shells and they won't be able to escape the bowl. As for the second aspect related to this bowl, it is believed that if we keep it at any threshold in the house, only good energy will reign over our home. Happiness will flow to us and our household members. We must believe in it ourselves, and a good aura will surround us.